As a little kid growing up, I used to boss all the other kids around and make up stories and strategies that we would then play out. I thought I would love to be a psychologist. When I was a child, I wanted to be a horticulturalist. I suspect I wanted to be a clippy on the buses. It was only because we had no buses where I lived. I don't remember having a precise um, knowledge or passion, um, except for knowing that it has to be with numbers. As a child, I always thought that I would be a lawyer. So I'm Barbara Stephen and I'm Managing Director of an Animation Studio. My name's Megan Zames and I'm the Founder and Creative Director of Grace Love Slate. I'm Karen Thomas and I'm a Director with High Performance Coaching. I'm Fleur Anning and I'm Co-Founder of Evolve Skateboards. I'm Vanessa Bourne, Director of Legal and Governance for UOW Enterprises. My name is Jane Oppenheim and I'm the Scientific and Operations Director at Ego Pharmaceuticals. Hi, I'm Sigal Pili from Invato. I'm the CFO of the company. My name is Christine Holgate. I'm the CEO of Blackmores. I'd say my proudest business achievement was being the executive lead for the expansion of UOW's footprint into Northeast Asia. I was very proud of the many products that I developed as a scientist. Probably what I'm most proud of is the teams that I've developed. I think one of the proudest moments was when we were given the opportunity to go global. We'd done a lot of work in Asia and uh, our programs were given the opportunity to be showcased to the global team. We launched a new product and I was quite um, instrumental in developing an international marketing strategy and when that product was released it sold out around the world within 24 hours. Early on I was really proud of our first sales event that we held in Los Angeles. We had a lineup of women down the street every day and I couldn't believe the response that we got. I think the day that I don't want to stop learning, you know, don't want to keep learning and I don't think that's important, it's probably the day I should not be working anymore. It's always important to continue your learning throughout your career, especially in a technology business where things are moving at a rapid pace. You can't expect to learn something and 20 years later to still be able to draw on that. You have to progress yourself and learn and refresh the skills and deepen them every few years. I think what's really important is that we really focus on the number of women in middle and key management positions because that we need women to come through this funnel so that they have the right skills and the right experience so they can take those bigger leadership jobs. You have to put yourself out there and you have to back your capability uh, and to be willing to push through some of those boundaries and, and to take those risks because if you're truly going to play on a global stage, that's what it takes.